Do you believe in Santa Claus? Well, where do we get our beliefs anyway? I believe our beliefs come from two different sources. One, our own life experiences, and two, the words and actions of our mentors. The most secure way to establish a belief, I believe, is through personal experience. We learn these truths through trial and error. That is, if I do A and B occurs, if B occurs every time I do A, then I can believe that if I do A, B will occur. But what if B only occurs 75% of the time, or 50%, or 10%? Well then, my belief isn't as strong, is it? How many of our beliefs are based on that kind of actual hands-on experience? Most of our cultural belief system is passed on. We are Catholic, or Lutheran, or agnostic, or non-believer, because our parents were that. And we were told what our beliefs were supposed to be. Some more subtle beliefs express themselves as prejudices and biases, even though we did not experience them firsthand. They can frequently make us think less of some people, cross the street to avoid them, and vote against them withholding our purchases and our smiles. Or these passed-on beliefs can bring us together in like-minded groups, religious congregations, or mobs. Our mentors, parents, teachers, etc., believe they're doing good when they impart their wisdom to us in these forms of beliefs. Cultural norms are shaped by these passed-on beliefs. They do not, however, often come from direct personal experience. Yet they shape us nevertheless. Passed-on beliefs can become more confirmed as we seek experiences that fortify them and filter out the ones that do not. We see the formula work out and reward ourselves with an attaboy for having that belief. I knew that was going to happen. As time goes by, it's even possible that we begin to believe that a particular belief stems originally from personal experience, when in fact, it was given to us and we've been buying in hook, line, and sinker ever since. Beliefs are most powerful drivers. I believe that when based on experience, they can be accurate and extremely useful. When based on hearsay and culture, they can be anything from spiritually uplifting to tragically damning. Sometimes I believe I maintain a belief simply because I want to, not necessarily because I have first-hand knowledge of it. It gives me joy, helps me choose happiness. What early childhood beliefs do you still carry? What youthful rule of life have you abandoned? I started this piece to point out the beliefs of contributors to our national political divide, but I think I've made my case without having to go there. So I'll leave it at that. Merry Christmas, or whatever holiday you may or may not believe in. And yes, I do believe in Santa Claus, because it brings me joy. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.